I would like to welcome you to the Community College of Baltimore County, and I would like to welcome you to DCOM 101, Introduction to Data Communications. My name is Dan Whitaker, and I will be your instructor in this online course. In this course introduction, we will cover the purpose of the class, the topics that we will be covering, the format of the class, grading, and what you need to do to get started. Let's start out with the purpose of the class. The purpose of the class is to provide the student, to provide you with an overview of the principles, practices, and technologies of data communications and computer networking. The course is designed to prepare the student for a career as network technician, network administrator, or network engineer. Now, let's look at the topics that we will be covering in the class. If you look at the table of contents in our textbook, which is available at the bookstore, or you can buy it online, you will see we have 12 chapters to cover. Chapter 1 is Introduction to Networking. Chapter 2, Network Hardware Essentials. Chapter 3, Topologies and Technologies. Chapter 4, Network Media, meaning cabling. Chapter 5, Networking Protocols. And Chapter 6, TCP IP and IP Addressing. Then we do the midterm exam. Then Chapter 7, Network Reference Models and Standards. Network Hardware in Depth. Chapter 9, Network Security. Chapter 10, Wide Area Networks and Cloud Computing. Chapter 11, Operating Systems Fundamentals and Virtualization. And Chapter, uh, chapter 12, Server Administration, Storage, and File System Management. Twelve chapters to cover. Now, as you know, this is a summer session class, so we only have six weeks to cover 12 chapters and to take a midterm exam and to take a final exam and to do a project. So here's what our schedule is going to be. Week number one, you have seven days to do chapters one, two, and three, and the quizzes are due Sunday at midnight. Week number two, you have seven days to do chapters three, four, and five, and the quizzes are due Sunday at midnight. Then for week number three, you have five days to do chapter six, and chapter six is a pretty big chapter. And then the quiz for chapter six is due Friday at midnight, and then you can take the midterm exam on either Saturday or Sunday. It's taken online at home. Week number four, you have seven days to cover chapters seven, eight, and nine, and the quizzes are due Sunday at midnight. Week number five, you have seven days to cover chapters 9, 10, and 11, and those quizzes are due Sunday at midnight. Then the last week, you've got four days to do chapter 12, and that quiz is due Thursday at midnight, and then the final exam can be taken on Friday, or it can be taken on Saturday. Note, the final exam must be taken at a CCBC testing center, so please remember to make an appointment. Now let's look at the topics, that is to say, what you will be doing in this class. For each chapter, you have four things to do. One, you read the chapter in the textbook, which is available at the bookstore, or you can buy it online. Two, you watch the videos of the instructor teaching the chapter. These video links are posted in Blackboard, and they link to YouTube. Three, you perform the hands-on exercises. These are simple, easy exercises designed to reinforce concepts. You do not need to submit these exercises to me. But if you don't do them, you will probably have a difficult time with the final project, which is based on the hands-on exercises. Then the last thing that you do for each chapter is to take the online quiz. It's multiple choice. It's open book. You get unlimited attempts. So I hope everybody will be getting 100s on these quizzes. For each week, you got four things to do. Read the chapter of the book, watch the videos, perform the hands-on exercises, which you do not need to submit to me, 
and then take the online quiz, which is graded and for which you get unlimited attempts. Grading. The grade is based on four criteria. The weekly quizzes altogether are worth 20% of your grade. The midterm exam is worth 25% of your grade. It's based upon the quizzes. It's taken online at home. The final project is worth 20% of your grade. It's based on the hands-on exercises. And the final exam is 35% of your grade. And note, the final exam must be taken at a CCBC testing center. Anybody has any questions or any problems, please email me. Or if you see any errors in the course, please let me know. In summary, the purpose of the course is to provide the student with an overview of the principles, practices, and technologies of data communications and computer networking. For each chapter, you read the chapter in the textbook, watch the videos, do the hands-on exercises, and take the online quiz. What to do next? The next thing you should do is log on to Blackboard and introduce yourself to the class, then buy the book, either at the bookstore or online, and then get started on Chapter 1. And this concludes our course introduction. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.